Good morning, everybody. This is day eight, and we are getting ready to break down camp. That is one of the smaller mountains we're going over today. Today's gonna be Kelly's Ridge, another 4,000 footer. And you know what? It's gonna be tough. But I keep reminding myself of that really pretty Bible verse that says, I lift my eyes unto the hills. Where does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, the maker of heaven and earth. We have got a tough, tough day ahead of us, but we're gonna do our very best and leave the rest to God. Have a really great day, everybody. Well, good morning. I know Julie started the day, day eight, coming out of Steel Trap Gap. We're going walking up a ridge line right there. And uh, we came down there. We got to keep telling ourselves when you sleep in a gap, Unicoin Gap, Steel Trap Gap, what it means is that you first thing you go up, <laughs> gets the blood pumping. Another cool thing today is that uh, we got out at quarter after seven. And that's kind of good because we have 9.6 and some of that is tough at the end. But I don't know if you recall, first night we got out of camp, it was nine. So we're starting to dial it down a little bit get our systems you know going uh me waking up early and getting julie up i pretend i'm not doing it on purpose but that gets us going we have a nice little light inside our uh tent and by about oh 6 30 ish you can start to see a little bit so it was really cool okay We've been hiking about 45 minutes, about 8, eight o'clock, 8.05. And uh, we got up to that ridge. And, you know, you do a little ridge walking, which feels great. And then you turn the bend, and you get a whole new different set of mountains. So walking down a lot of these hardwood ridges and you can look down in there. And I'm always thinking of my brother, Dan, who loves to deer hunt on the hardwood ridges. Well, we've been walking 60 miles or so, but I'm telling you what, these are rugged, not exactly like back home but beautiful. So I just want to give you an idea of the, the path we're walking on, which is right there. And that goes down a lot more than it probably shows in the video. So there's our water source. Uh, I'm not gonna get it there. I think there's a little bit of a, you can kind of see, I'm sorry about this, I'm trying to figure out. You see that little run right there? That's where I'll put the filter. We've been trying to avoid water sources like this because we have to do that going back to the trail, which is not gonna be fun. This is a blue blaze down to the water. We got spoiled with water on the trail. A lot of water sources are off the trail, like this one. We are at the swag of the Blue Ridge. How many videos have we seen of this place? It is pretty swaggy. Very beautiful. We're just taking a little breakfast break. We've walked almost two miles in one hour, so that's pretty good. Got up and got going. Swag of the Blue Ridge. Okay, we just had a really nice little break at swag of the Blue Ridge. Larry is our engine leader. Kathy and I are the club cars. We like to dine mostly, <laughs> dine and sleep. And Mike is our sturdy caboose who pushes us up the hill. Okay guys, here we go. 
So we looked at our gut hook app this morning called Far Out Now. We knew we have a big climb, 9.6 miles, big climb at Kelly Knob, which is coming up in a couple miles, big descend down to Dick's Creek Gap, Gap, and that's the end of the day. But behind me is something we just did. Don't know its name, don't want to know its name. <laughs> uh, but you know, you look at like you have one big climb, well, you don't. You're, you're up and down all day long in the Georgia mountains. So that's Kelly's knob. That's what our big challenge is today. We're right now walking down into Addis Gap. As I said before, when you hear the word gap, that means you gotta climb. So what we have to do is climb up and over and then down into Dick's Creek Gap, which is ends our day. It's only about 10.30, probably got about five and a half miles to go. Come okay, on. so we are ready to walk up Kelly Knob, excuse me. And we have just taken this Roctane, which was recommended to us by the guy at Mountain Crossings. We don't know if it's, oh, it's got giving me the hiccups, that's for sure. We don't know if it's gonna make us go any faster, but we'll see. We got a mile up the mountain to go and it's straight up. So it's 10.30, we'll see what we do. It's okay. a mile straight up to Kelly Knob and it's 10.30 and, and we're energized. Energy gel, vanilla orange. And I thought it might taste like a creamsicle. It tastes like a warm creamsicle that you just threw up. But I think it's kicking in, we gotta go. <laughs> Well, we made it up to the top of Kelly's Knob. Kelly's Knob is no joke. It took us an hour. It's 1130. This is one of the vistas. Great one. Did that energy squeeze work? Well, maybe for the first quarter mile, but it's a grind. Dude, there's even higher mountains way over there. I know looking at this, you probably can't tell cloud or mountains, but it's an incredible view. Let's just give you a little quick scan of the crew up here. We're taking a little breather. I was hoping to get to Kelly's Knob by noon. It's 11.30. So we got a big down. Then we have a probably about a half mile up to Powell Mountain, which has incredible views. And then all the way down to Dick's Creek. So it's looking good. Should be there about... I don't know, depends if we take our time, but certainly three-ish. Well, we're just coming off the mountain. Woo! Day eight, about nine, uh, 9.6, it's three o'clock. Uh, coming into Dick's Creek. So here's the deal. Eight hour day, the last two are tough. Uh, no real easy days in Georgia for us. Temperatures in the 70s and humid. But tonight we're going into Helen. Gonna get, uh, stay at the Hampton Inn. And we're also, cause it's like a Bavarian town, kind of really nice town. And we're going to get uh, a great German meal. So, we're really psyched. Uh, when we get, when we come back on the trail here at Dick's Creek, we'll get to uh, North Carolina. So, talk to you later. Okay, so we're 69.2 out of Springer. And when we get back on the trail, we go that way up those steps towards North Carolina.